What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today I'm gonna play some more ranked. Um, ratings back at 1850, but that is certainly not what I want it to be at. Believe it or not, I'm only like uh, 50 points gets me at number two on the ladder, so it's very jumbled up high in the rankings right now. So uh, hopefully I can string a few more wins together. Lately in ranked, I've been using Agro Order, which is a deck uh, Anti Rad showed me new member of the Badger Guild. This deck seems to be working pretty well so far. No huge weaknesses except for uh, the old double quake and double sudden eruption. Very aggressive. No generals, no imperials. It's about it's a race to get three idols down to decimation range. And uh, I've been winning a lot with it works extremely well versus mono order and uh, structure energy has some problems with uh, mono growth with the quake and then with a uh, range energy with the uh, sudden eruption I know uh, structure energy has sudden eruption also but structure energy is no just no match for this deck it just keeps spamming on creatures early I'm always gonna get like the advantage in the beginning because with the mulligan too now it's very hard to get a bad starting out this deck with the two one drops, the two two drops. It's th 30 creatures. It's a very nice deck. And this Wings Cleaver at the end, once you always destroy an idol, if you can get a couple of these guys down, the opponent needs to save their damning curses, their bounce dispersals for this. And uh, it's pretty nice. So this deck has been working pretty well. And uh, the ladder's all over the place right now at the moment. So since the power trip nerf, people are still playing energy, but it's like more uh, up in the air, and I'm facing a variety. So I'm not accustomed to this. Uh, all this change in the ladder uh, has also been there with the change in the, in the uh, decks being played. The rankings are being jumbled all over the place. But Let's see if I can get back to uh, the top. And hello, 81202944. Good luck. We're going second, which is normal. We got a pretty solid opening hand, but we always get solid opening hands. So I'm not. I don't think I'll use the mulligan. And he's using order, so I think this is probably going to be an easy win, unless he's playing an aggro order like me. If it's an order deck that's a little slower than mine, I'll definitely win, especially if it has no mulligan else. Now I could draw a new starting hand so I don't have to start with two Blessing of Haste. But I think one, two, and I'll probably get a three drop and then go to four. It's going to be nice. I'll sack one Blessing of Haste. Maybe I should attack the Vanguard. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Okay. He's going with an obelisk. Interesting. Not sure what kind of deck this is. Because that's an obelisk, maybe I should keep the paw there because I can get it out of the way. So I'll sack the vanguard here. And I'll sack the blessing of haste. I know I'm going with two blessing of haste down, but it's not a huge deal considering that I have three roasted bean potions in this deck. Roasted bean potions really make this deck really nice. I like him a lot. All right. So now, I guess I'll. I got the three drop I wanted. Um, I'm gonna sack the father now, so I can just continue on my ramping up. Yeah, like I said, if I faces an order deck, this aggro deck faces an order deck that is slower than it, like more late game. There's almost no chance of this losing. This order does not have a reliable board clear option. So, I'm pretty well off right now. Not not many ways I can lose. Yeah, he knows it. I just... I feel bad because I, <laughs> the past few days in ranked I've been facing the same players. And I've just been pounding up on people for using like slower decks than me. Because there's really nothing they could do. Because this deck... All it does is get like awesome draws. That's all it does. 
Um, that guy's moved too, so we'll probably just engage him anyways, but he's not gonna be able to get, like do anything. Yeah, I'll move up. Eh. That's kind of stupid. I'm too close together. If he has a manganel speed, but chances he has one right now in his hand are so slim. If he does, I bet you'd use him on these three guys, and he doesn't. Maybe he did, but he didn't use it. I don't know. Alright. But I, I do have some trouble with this deck against certain opponents. Ah, uh, focus. I have to sack it. I wish I didn't have to sack this, though. Yahoo. Um, yeah, I'll just bother you. Fall. I mean, I could kill you or I can kill you. Kill you without a focus. Maybe I should have bothered you. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We're way ahead. And then I'll just put a bunch of damage to you. I do have decimations in this deck as well, which is cool, I guess. Um, move you here so you affect more people, even though they're not attacking. You never know if I draw like a roasted bean potion I want to use. And I have decimations in this deck, like you saw, it's a big part of the deck. Uh, getting the idols down, the two health, and then unleashing the decimations. That's where like 80% of my wins come from. But against it. A deck like this that's <clears throat> obviously slower than mine. I probably won't even need the decimations. Could help now if I get one though. Help me kill that thing. So they don't have Kabonx. I'm thinking about trying to go for like a Caller's Bane or a uh, or a um. or faith chains to do more direct double damage but I'm afraid it will mess up the awesome creature potential of just spamming them out so I'm probably not going to do that now I could take down the waking stones this turn but really I have Pothers flips in the whole shebang so I don't think that's going to be a huge deal I think I'm just going to do a bunch of vital damage so let's see um 4 plus let's see Five and I go like this. Eh. I'm gonna keep you all there. I'll just go ahead and destroy Nittle, so that means that um I can get my uh My Dominion effect activated for the Cleaver, which is going to be really awesome, especially against Order, which has no removal. Flip and Pother, closest things to removal for Order. Now, I realize that he could just move two up and kill the Wings Captain, but, I mean, who cares at this point? I mean, I wouldn't mind if that means he would be, uh, like, getting this guy in the open and I could easily kill him. Because he's not behind the Waking Sons anymore, but, okay. He does that. I'm fine with that. I mean, that guy had four countdown. I know. Let's see. I'll just sack a wing shield. I guess it should just flip, right? Yeah. I guess I'll flip the one that's attacking. Maybe saving that flip for the waking zones wouldn't be too bad idea, but I have three pothers and three flips, so. I think I'm fine. Now I'll just play the wing shield. You're gonna give extra move to you. You're gonna have to move yourself. No, I'm gonna keep everybody here. I'm gonna first I need to. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, I am poning him, but it's just because. He is using a uh, Agent Knight, which is a pretty uh, fast card. With two Agent Knights. All right, I feel his pain. Can we win soon? If I get like a focus, I can win, right? 
speed that works too I think yeah so uh GG I guess and I don't know why I always do that I know some people dislike it when players do that when they fill up their it's just a habit of mine sometimes I do it sometimes I don't I don't know I, I think it's confirmed that it doesn't actually affect the gold or anything or rating but whatever so this guy was actually pretty low rated not too low at least we got five rating from it so I'm at 12 but like I said now I'm only like 40 points from coming in from being in second it's a log jam at the higher rankings right now so hopefully the next time uh, you see me I'll be back at uh, number one number two and number three like I used to and once I get back there I'll start playing on my second account again trying to get that there and I've been I've been like a lot of rank just winning and losing so I've been just like hovering around the 1800s right now see this ranked one number is going higher and higher 773 that must be one of the highest uh, the most that must be one of the players with the most ranked wins I, don't, I haven't seen anybody with more than 773 ranked wins you know what I'm just gonna check who would be close to that 773 maybe blinky would be around that I think I have more ranked wins than blinky the last time I checked but he's on online, so I can't check anyways. So, uh, yeah, I think we're still the only people with, uh, with all, all 80, uh, all 85 achievements, or however many achievements there are. So that's nice. But, so, like, Rational, I think, got, like, the 2,000 rating achievement. So I think, uh, he has a chance at all achievements so far, but I don't think he has it. So, uh, yeah. I guess that'll do it. I'm um, sorry about the lack of uploads. I'm still uploading like somewhat consistently, but I'll try to do that better now. But I'm doing a lot of stuff for school right now, so it's kind of hard. So um, uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you uh, want to see more like this. And keep playing scrolls, everybody. I'll see you next time.